in the process of making uh, nanoparticles, we mix four chemicals together. We are trying to find an energy efficient way of separating gases. Power plant emissions contain a lot of carbon dioxide, which is a uh, greenhouse gas. Currently, the technology used to uh, capture this greenhouse gas is really energy intensive. We, however, are trying to make filters that will separate one gas from another, creating composite membranes that contain inorganic nanoparticle fillers. We want to make sure that all the particles are the same size, which is what's so cool about this reaction, is you make a billion little tiny nanoscale particles that are all pretty much the same size. We mix the nanoparticles into these polymer membranes, and then we cast them by mixing them with various um, solvents and then putting them in the oven and what we turn out with is a membrane sort of like this here. The carbon dioxide emissions from power plants or factories can be filtered out using these membranes from uh, other atmospheric gases, making that process a lot more energy efficient and uh, feasible. Another method to study these polymers is modeling. So we can look at things at a really, really small scale. So we well, can start with um, building a monomer that goes in the polymer chain that goes in the membrane. I could look at how much uh, f free volume there is in a, a certain, certain membrane with a certain polymer and see how that's related to um, the gas that we're putting through it. When we make them right, you can see that they're, they're separate, they're all about the same size and about the same shape. Here's what happens when we, when we mess up. You can see they're sort of all glued together. When we do it right, this is a picture of a membrane with particles in it. And you can see that they're all sort of spread out. They've clumped up a little bit. But for the most part, they're you know, looking good, well dispersed out through the membrane. This is what we like to call our wall of shame. And it's pretty much the membranes that didn't quite work out. A lot of these are from a while ago, which is a good thing. It means we're improving. By now, we've we've pretty much figured out how to get membranes consistently, at least the ones that don't look this bad. Again, in all science, it's learning from your mistakes and knowing what doesn't work. And now, the science we're doing is actually good.